हेलो एवरीवन हाय टू टेंथ मुंबई इंटरनेशनल शॉर्ट फिल्म फेस्टिवल माई सेल्फ अरवा काटोल वाला एंड आई एम रियली ग्लैड दैट आई एम बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ द फिल्म फेस्टिवल दैट गिव्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू द बडिंग फिल्म मेकर्स लाइक कास वेल आई एम रियली ग्लैड एंड हैप्पी बिकॉज दिस इज माई फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल सिलेक्शन एज अ डिरेक्टर एंड वी ऑल आर रियली हैप्पी अवर टीम इज़ वेरी एक्साइटेड So how did I came up with the idea of making this film? Well, actually I am a writer, so I write poems, and I have always been writing poems, you know, narrating scripts and everything like that. So I actually wrote a poem that was maybe based on my life or partially based on my life, and I wrote a poem, and then I thought of why not making a film from it. So. that is how the main basic core idea came up i was wanted to make a short film of my own or like make films of my own as in director as in writer so that was always the dream single thing was a challenging from the very first day of the shoot like the like about the cameras about the background lights how to arrange it how to place it arrangement of the props and the costume to show every single detail was very difficult in the film but i had a great experience the road blocks was many 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 things because we need to arrange a white curtain uh, lights and we have to maintain the daily routine people coming going through the uh, white curtain and behind the uh, screen uh, they were they were people are shooting because uh, aro is going to direct and i'm going to check everything should be fine fantastic it was uh, difficult but somehow we had managed because uh, we have a, i remember there's a lots of incidents happen we are playing uh, like a bahubali mein talwar leke shoot shadow mein dikha rahe so we had done some more experimental things on road blocks are always there until unless in all this problem doesn't come now you will never ever learn good thing this was my first debut film me and my fellow members all have put an equal effort to make this film so the budget of this film was low the concept and the consequences which we have had shown of this film didn't need much financial resources about lights we have had a single projector to play with the shadows so i would like to explain the process how did how we did the shooting so it was like this was the camera here was the screen it was a cloth uh, actors and a projector emitting white light so the white light will fall on the actors and actors shadow will fall on the screen and hence will record the shadows it, this was the concept but uh, the main uh, problem was uh, if we see the screen in the camera 2d uh, the projector's light the source it was too bright and uh, we had to cut it we try to diffuse it and disperse the light that was the first challenge second small things like uh, flower petals hair this was not clearly visible on the um, camera uh, also uh, uh, light cloths they were the the things which were light like uh, we say odni and all uh, their shadow was very light things were uh, very challenging rest it was okay it was fine and it was easy because there were no facial expressions no makeup no nothing no costumes and rest was fine the movie just does not focus on the female uh, audience but it focuses on the every individual present in the world because it is not just the women who are responsible for everything that is happening it's each and every individual that has created this criteria of living for a woman which tells us a lot about the society of the film usp is the unique selling point of the film i would say it is that the film was created with the least amount of you know uh, props or uh, source resources used in the uh, for the movie but it holds a very big message behind it the title itself says everything about the film beating on itna bhi aasan nahi 
we want everyone to watch this film because they have shown the difficulties, the emotion every daughter she faces till she gets married, and a beautiful bond between a father and a daughter, which which makes every father and a daughter in the world to speak warmly about it. Thank you, and do watch the film. To all the budding filmmakers, I would like to say, you know, it may be difficult at the start, but eventually you're gonna make it. So. No matter what are the roadblocks are, you know, wherever you are from, wherever you are or whatever the people says, it really doesn't matter. All matters is that you have dreams and you want to pursue them. And I hope all the best to the others that have been a part of the film festival.